IKEA markers assembly guide. It is step by step. It is only video you need to watch. And if you are in need to disassemble your IKEA markers, you can watch this video from the from the end to the beginning. So just the reverse steps. It is quite easy. And let's go. The first thing which you need to do is to place your box. Uh, watch out for IKEA logo. Open the box and take everything out. Important thing, uh, IKEA office chairs come in two boxes. The first box is protection for the second main box. The first, the first box you can use the scalpel or knife to open it, but for the second box don't use anything sharp to open it because you can damage the chair inside of it. Okay, to repeat, don't use anything sharp, you also have the knife uh, which is crossed, which means that you should not use anything sharp. You get a tool for screwing the screws and regarding screws you get five of these smaller ones and you get uh, six of these bigger ones and that's basically it uh, the markers is quite uh, simple to assemble so let's start for the start you take the star and you get your wheels turn on the star and put the wheels inside the design spots This is quite a simple process. And well, now get your gas mechanism. You have this cap, you should remove it. Uh, turn on your gas mechanism to thinner part go upside and just put it in like this. Take out your back seat and turn it on the back side. What you want to, to look at it is that this curved side is your front side. So keep that in mind. Uh, now take your mechanism and look for this uh, tension screw. You want it to, to look at, uh, to be turned on the uh, curved side because uh, uh, this is where your legs go and this is your front side. So keep that in mind, it is quite important. First you want to take these two smaller screws. They go on the back side, so the curved side is uh, taking uh, longer screws and back side is taking these smaller screws. So take also two of these and place them in these holes like this okay before you tighten these screws i always tell people one thing when you start tightening screws on anything basically where there is more than one screw you always first want to tighten them uh, just a little bit until the thread goes nearly to the end but not completely to the end because if you tighten one uh, completely first it is a huge chance that you will, you will have problem to tighten rest of them. So first you tighten the screws, how much they go without too much resistance. And trust me, this, this will help you through, through your life uh, when you are doing some do-it-yourself job. So this is all by hand without too much work and now when all four are are relatively tightened now you want to tighten them completely one by one uh, and one uh, additional advice is always to to try start tightening them completely in diagonal like this one and this one and then this one and this one Additional tip, I tighten it all four and you know that it is tightened enough when you try and with a lot of force 
you cannot move the screw at all. So you see, with two hands, no movement, that is well screwed and you don't have to worry that your chair over, 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 over time will get the loose screws. Okay, I recommend you to place your back seat like this. You want uh, this metal part to look uh, to you and uh, you want your uh, backrest to place like this with this metal part on the top and here you want the metal part from back side of the chair to go underneath this part. Align the holes like this and use the three smaller screws to screw them in and tighten them. Take your time with these screws. Uh, you want to tighten them evenly at first and not to the end. Repeat the process like for the, the seat. It is quite important. You want this to, to last a long time without any we weird noises. So, at first, just tighten them until they go easily. Yeah, but keep in mind that these screws, in general, as they are machine cuts, they are quite uh, harder to tighten. Take your time to screw them in. Always double check if everything is tightened well. So, with two hands, take, put the key and try to tighten how much it, it can go. This is quite important in, if you want your experience with the, any product which, product which need to be assembled to be quite uh, reliable. You see this screw was able to go a bit more. Anyway, take check all the screws on the bottom and you are finished with that. At this point, take everything everything you worked on up till now. You maybe need help for this. I was a strong guy before, so and place in the hole on the bottom on you have hole on the center of the seat, just place it on the top and voila. You are nearly done at this point. Take the handles, align with the holes on the sides. You have four screws left over, you will need them for the handles. Two per side. Place like this. And start screwing in. Repeat the process on the next side. And always remember to tighten the screws evenly and tightly. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing. I am uh, this Marcus is replacement for my six years old Marcus and there are some difference with about which I want to speak about. So subscribe for, for my next video where I will do a review of this a new version of the Marcus. I hope you enjoyed watching and until next time, see you.